2024 and this is what happens when you stop paying bills for a girl. I just got off work, I come to my car and this is what I find. Then she left a note on the back of my car, look at this. Since you won't pay my bills, pay for your window, period. So this is a little bit of the backstory. This is what happened, you feel me? She hit me up yesterday, right? And she was like, oh, uh, I need you to pay my phone bill. I need you to pay my rent. I need you to pay all this stuff. I told her I ain't paying your bills no more. Find somebody else to do it. And the reason why I cut her off and stopped telling her I'm going to pay her bills is because every time I text her phone and I call her phone, she always treating me like I'm an option. She'll never respond to my call. She'll never text me back in a reasonable amount of time. So I say, man, it's 2024. We ain't doing that this year. You ain't going to be treating me like I'm no no second option then when you need your bills paid all of a sudden your phone working you can hit me up if you ain't got that energy to hit me up no other time don't hit me up when your bills did so I told her I wasn't gonna pay no more of her bills to do nothing for her. you feel me she ended up trying to argue with me I hung up in her face mm -hmm. you feel me and this is what I find but guess what and you know who I'm talking to you lucky I don't expose you I don't even care the money's still here baby it ain't nothing but a couple hundred dollars that's gonna take to fix this window and you know I'm racked up I'm still gonna get right it's crazy. No one's ready for this conversation, but women will hold a man accountable for literally every action that he's done, whether it was a fault, whether he cheated, whether he lied, everything on how much that man affected her. He, she will hold him accountable. But the second that a man tries to hold a woman accountable for them, their own actions, how toxic they were, how unhealthy that relationship was because of her she can never take accountability it's always it's always never her fault she's too prideful to not be able to put her her ego to the side to be like damn i tr this guy up i'm the reason why he doesn't trust other women i'm the reason why he can't even fully he can't trust himself because i gave him the impression that he can trust me that his heart is safe with me when in reality i had no good intentions towards him so now when the next woman who comes across him that does have good intentions towards him he can't even fully accept that this woman is good for him because of how f i had him don't get it twisted either i'm not sitting here saying that you know a guy is allowed to be up and allowed to be emotionally unavailable to the next woman who does have good intentions towards them i'm just shedding light on the fact that there are toxic women out here that have up a guy mentally and don't take accountability of how badly they've done it but twist will twist up the story to make it seem as if on their end that they didn't do anything wrong that they weren't the problem that they weren't toxic towards him that they didn't sit there and completely shatter this man's heart into pieces because like i said when a man loves when a guy really gives a shit about you he will take shirt off his back and give it to you the same way he gave your heart his heart to you that's like giving his entire soul, his entire being to you. And he's in, he's trusting you with a lot of Because when a guy trusts, he gives, it gives 100%. So when you f*** that trust up, you might as well just f*** heart and pull a trigger. Because that's how badly it feels. More than half of women who are married and categorize themselves as happily Wait a married. Sec. They're married. Happily married happily women are doing married? this? Have a backup plan. And what is a backup plan? It means you have someone on the back burner. So like, a specific person a they've specific identified. A person that they've identified. And in most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. And, and the problem is, is social media has just made it too easy to have such a type of behavior. And watch who you have babies with, because what you see ain't all what you see. You have to get to know these women. And these young girls nowadays, they don't care. They don't have no morals, no uh, value for themselves. They just want to be superstars, be on the internet, be on the Instagram, be on love and hip hop, and all of that mess. It's just crazy. If you're her backup plan, she's gonna leave you as soon as something better comes along. This is usually why it's such a bad idea to go from being in the friend zone to being in a relationship if you're even able to, to sort of make that hurdle. You shouldn't have to convince her to get in a relationship. She should want it unprompted. She should be the one trying to bring it up and trying to convince you. On the same token, she should be your first option as well. You should know pretty quickly, you know, even after the first few dates, whether or not you want to keep something going with this girl. Hey, babe. How was 
Hey. Hey, I missed you. Hey, babe. What's going on? Hey, yes. babe. Yeah. What's okay, up? so what's up with you and this hairstylist? Whoa. What's yeah, whoa, whoa. What what's up about? with the hairstylist? We've been married for 11 years, and you're going to cheat on me with your hairstylist? You serious you right, now? right now? Yes, this is what we're talking about right now. This is exactly what, what, what we're talking, talking about, about right now. What are you talking about? Where did you get this information from? What are you talking I about? I saw all the DMs. I seen it. I seen them all. Okay. And you want to sit here and act like you don't well, know what I'm talking it, about? I guess there's nothing for us to talk about if you've already Yeah, it is something for us to talk about. to be, you know, acting like we've been like that. We you are my like wife. You've been my so wife. We, we traveled like the world. I bought you the house. What about, about the kids? I you don't care you about the kids? How many times have I told you that this is not working? We need to put a spark in our relationship. We need to do something different. Like, how many times have I told you this? Don't act like... It's like a surprise. We but you know I work we hard. You know you, I you work. Sleep in the same bed. What are you talking about? Yeah, because every time I try to touch you, you always moving around, exactly. acting like you're tired. Exactly. You don't want to do not nothing. Trying to put no That's spark what I'm saying. Into anything. So you think because you didn't bought the house? Okay, so I what work, about the vacations? What, what about, about the vacation? Vacations? Yeah, that was like putting a spark. Just... We travel. We okay. did things. I had people watch the kids and try to okay. do this thing. Get you it had back my together. people watch the kids. What you mean you had people watch the kids? No, my no, people watch Yeah, the my kids. people watch the kids that's too. Watch the kids. But I paid them. Okay. So it's the same thing. To, but you didn't have but to. But I did because we were supposed line, to be one. The bottom line. The bottom line. I can't is believe you did this to me. You and you want to act like you ain't happy. even did nothing. You want to act like that's you okay. I asked you for a divorce. You're the one that doesn't want to get a divorce. So I don't know. Yeah, for the kids. We still got two beautiful kids. They'll get over really? it. They'll get over it. Wow. Really? Yes. Really? Wow. Yes, they'll get over it. That's they'll insane. That's crazy. You see this? This is bananas. 11 whole you, years. You got me on live? 11 whole years. You got me on a live? Yeah, you on live. Are you serious right Everybody going to see this. Okay. 11 years right and she okay, acting well, like me, she don't me, care let about let the let kids. Me call my boo then. It, oh, your boo. Yeah, you want to call, call your boo, boo now? Yeah. Wow. Yep. This is crazy. And I'm leaving. All right. I work. Rolling around with the hairstylist late nights while I'm working. Yeah. Yeah, no, you take care of the hairstylist. You take care of the hairstylist, not the, the kids. I'm taking care of the kids while you out running around with the hairstylist. And we're having this conversation wow. for whatever reason. Wow, really? No okay. I have no idea. Don't get mad. You act a surprise. You act, no, no I'm acting. This is, this is crazy. This is bananas. 11 years. 11 years. Wow. 12. No, nah, wow. It's over. And at what year I'm did you done. stop doing what I was needing you to do? At what year was that? I, we need to, what do you want we to, need to call it over. It's over. Okay. We need to call it a wrap. So it's done. It? It's done. So I can't. You see this? This is why I always said I should have I should have left a long time ago. I should have left a long time ago. I shouldn't have left. I should have left. I should have left, but it was because the kids. It was because of the kids. Years. It's, been it's years because of the kids. Years and, years, and now you want to act like. And then the you want to sit here. You want to. Be all for today. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel. I need to get to a thousand subscribers, and I'm almost there. I appreciate you in advance. Thank you. Thank you very much.